Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Arslan and you're watching my channel Mark Siddiqui and uh, in the previous lectures we in detail discuss about the data types and now today we are going to do something special and that something special is that it is lecture number 16 and in today's lecture we are going to create a digital clock and the digital clock we are going to create by using JavaScript so I'm going to show you a screen like this and this kind of clock we are going to make in the end and uh, and right now you can see that the clock is stopped but in the end I am going to see you another is uh, another screen where you can see that the digital clock is constantly and continuously running so you can see that so here we are this is the screen and you can see that how the seconds are moving how the seconds are getting changed and as the second gets changed so we are going to get the minutes changed and as the minute gets changed then we are going to get the hours as well so this is the digital class we are going to change the font we are going to create a design and with this all logic this is quite easy and I'm going to show you how to create this kind of a screen so let's move on to visual, visual code and we will start coding there okay, here we are guys this is the uh, this is the code which I have created for now because I was uh, just testing for that purpose and this all code we are going to write to create the digital uh, clock so let's create a new file can press control N and uh, I'm going to save it control shift S and uh, here I am going to save it like uh, <coughs> digital clock okay and the type is going to be HTML so I'm going to save it as HTML document save okay now just create basic tags which we have uh, learned so far okay now I'm going to create a body and in that body I'm going to create a div div means a division and that div will have a ID and its uh, clock area okay and in that div I'm going to create uh, a span it's a part of text for now I am just writing digital clock okay and in the second I am going to create another span but before that I am going to give it a break so BR and another span tag okay so this span tag is going to get the time so it you can say that it's 14 3 25 p.m. something like that but it's a static time so I'm going to give it an ID so ID will be time okay so this is uh, this is what I have written so let's open it in browser and see how it is going to work so just right click here reveal in explorer and open this in the browser so you can see that it is uh, being written here like this okay so I'm going to close the full screen view from the browser just clear it and let's move to VS code okay so now I need to create some style first I would like to create some style then after that I will be going toward the JavaScript that how to make the programming for the clock so what kind of a style I'm going to give it here I am going to say that body color body and its background color will be white it is already white but uh, for some purpose I would like to write white okay and then now I have uh, this ID this is clock area and uh, I am going to write hashtag clock area this is representing that ID and its position will be position will be absolute and uh, it is from top it's 50 percent from left it's 50 percent also okay then we will use the transform property and uh, here I would write uh, translate X and it is minus 
fifty percent and again I'm going to use translate y and it's also minus fifty percent that's all I'm doing only to bring it into the center of the screen its color will be black <coughs> font size will be 150 pixels and uh, sorry just text align it will be center okay so I have just save it and uh, let's move to browser and see how it is looking there okay so you can see that it is up here it is appearing here and it is quite changed uh, as in the as you can see in the previous screen it was showing very small here but now after doing this bit of CSS you can see the result how it is going to change okay so now the task is to change the font of the screen like you can see in the previous screen here you are looking this kind of uh, this kind of font and I am using uh, the simple font so I want to show you that how can you change the font style of your uh, of your text into JavaScript okay so for that purpose you can do so many things you can simply what you can do you can go here and start writing a style and its font family will be okay so now I have actually created actually I have created a, a style tag here so I want to write all my styling in this tag so it will be very a sophisticated way to code out there so I'm going to give it ID and its heading and here I would say heading and its font family so I have so many font families here but right now what font I need it is not here because this is not all enough quantity there are so many fonts in the world you can use them for your purpose for your desire for your wishes so how can we do that thing so for that purpose I need to import some fonts and uh, if I show you in the folder I have already downloaded few fonts so let me show you first there okay you can see that here I have uh, I have a font folder and I have already downloaded few of fonts so I am going to use them and how can I use them for that purpose I need to show you who back to visual to visual code and uh, I am going to import some fonts here so in the very start of the style style tag what you have to do you have to write some code to import the code import the fonts from your folder so how can you do that so what you have to do you have to write alt and it is font face and as you press tab it will start up here you start by itself you can see that just press tab and it is here okay so now you have to write the font family name so font family name can be on my desire I'm going to write first font family name is uh, Pacifico it's uh, its name what I am giving and now I need to give the URL so how I am going to give the URL because uh, if I right click here then I can see that in the reveal path I have a folder uh, with this one I have a folder it's font so what can I do I can just uh, write fonts and slash and I now I need to give the now I need to do I take the name of that font so how will I get this I just go to fonts and uh, rename it and copy it all go back to code and press and just paste it here okay so now for the second font as well I'm going to just copy it paste it change the name digital and uh, just call it digital 7 because digital 7 font is already there so you can see this one here it's already here so just you copy it for be assured and just paste it it's your wish if you want to use a 7 here or not it, it's up to you totally okay so now here for heading what I am going to do for heading I am going to write the font family Pacifico like this and uh, for time I am going to do the same font family 
and it is digital so just save it and let's see in the browser how it is going to appear now so just refresh the page and you can see that it has been totally changed its design has been totally changed so now if you press f11 so you can see it is uh, to completely in the middle of the screen and as i show you in the start as i show you there in the previous screen how it was uh, appearing there so it is appearing the same here as well okay so now let's move on to the big task what is our big task our big task is to write some code when in which we can just recalculate the time so for now i am making it empty because it is useless and now we will uh, go down the body and we will write a tag a script and in that script tag i'm going to create a function just tab and uh, function name will be show time it is not going to has any parameter so just clear it okay now i am going to create a variable <coughs> and variable is date equal na new and its data type will be date so it's a date type object i am creating here okay and here i am going to create a variable and its name will be hour and hour is going to equal of date dot get hours it's a method in javascript by which you can get hours okay then i'm going to create it for minute equal date dot get minutes and then var second equal date dot get seconds so in that way what happens in that way it happens that we have already got all these three variables so as i told you in the previous lecture so we can test how what we are getting so we can write uh, console dot log and in console dot log i am going to write our and just copy it paste paste and write here minute and write second here now if you go to browser and you refresh the page so you can see that i have already deleted uh, what i have deleted i have deleted that uh, text which i wrote in the span so now i can open up a developer tool by pressing f12 and just go to console and you can see there is nothing written here so just refresh it clear it and rerun the page and nothing is appearing why nothing is appearing because uh, this is a function and the function is always run when we call it so what we can do we can just call it out here and like this we have we have to just do this so the function will be called every time you don't need to worry about it so just refresh the page and you can see what you can see that 16 41 and 1 is appearing here so this is the time this is our minute and seconds are appearing here so just to make it a small here make it a small so we can do more testing and come back around here now clear this this is all we don't need it and now i'm going to create another session i'm going to create a variable and it is session and session is going to be equal to am because we also need to uh, take care of am and pm so in the beginning in the beginning it is going to be am always so we will decide how to get the pm okay now the next thing is that that uh, it may be possible like uh, you can see in the screen here it may be possible that you are getting only four so how you get this zero because you are not going to get this zero with your answer you are just going to get four so what you can do for that purpose we can do that hour is equal to and in bracket i would write hour if hour is less than 10 means if hours digits are only one because if you have nine then it is nine, one digit and if you have 10 then you then you will get two digits but uh, what i want but what i want if it is nine i want two digits how zero and nine like i want like this zero nine i don't need nine i need zero and nine and when i get single digit when i am smaller than 10 so if hour is less than 10 so what we can do we can write zero 
plus hour means we are going to join zero with our hour or else if it is equal than 10 then what we have to do we have just to use hour okay so this is a test if this test is true then this will happen if this test is false then this will happen if it is less than 10 then we are going to join 0 with it or if it is not less than 10 then we are not going to join anything with this so just copy this paste it paste it just select our press ctrl D D and E just press four times so that you select all the four hours and remove it with the minutes and just press escape okay so now do the same thing for it ctrl D ctrl D ctrl D and press and type second and press escape so we have done all the things for all the three parts of our time okay now what next the next is this if now I'm going to make a condition if hour is less than 12 or I can say if hour is greater than 12 then I, what I'm going to do that hour is equal to be 0 actually not 0 if hour is greater than 12 then what I can do that I can minus equal 12 from it so what will happen if hour is not 12 if hour is 13 it means it's 1 it's 1 p.m. so what I can do I can minus 12 from 13 so what I will get I will get 1 okay so now I have to use this condition up here okay and now if hour is greater than 12 it means it's afternoon so what I can do I can create session equal p.m. so the session will be p.m. okay but now if but now if uh, hour is only 12 if okay just make it uh, make it bit ahead if hour is equal equal 12 so just make hour empty because we don't want to show anything in this one okay so now just uh, it is almost ready now okay so now what we next to do next we have to do something that uh, we just get this time out around here okay so now this is the idea I want to show that time here so what I have to do I just have to write uh, document dot get element by ID and the ID will be time means I am going to write between this okay dot inner html inner html will be equal to hour and i am joining something it's colon space then minutes joining again space colon space joining what joining seconds and uh, another join i will have to create with a space and it will be session so what is happening here first we will see hours like 4 then we will see minutes like 47 then we will see seconds like 20 25 then we will see session okay so we have prepared our variables here and now we are joining our variables and appending and replacing them in the time okay so now one last thing what we have to do just check it out first and then see what we get the answer just refresh the page and you can see that I've got the current time it's 4 47 29 just refresh the page again and look seconds are changing but I don't want to refresh the page again and again so what I have to do I have to make such thing that it gets uh, changed by itself so for that purpose what we can do we can set time out and in that time out I'm going to write 1000 here 1000 means one second here 1000 means one second and in this portion in this portion I'm going to call this function here so just copy it out just paste it and it's all done okay so now just remove it from here 
or you can paste it right below so that you have to run it once you must have to run the function once and after that you don't need to run it again and again because when you run the function it will come in this and it will do all the process it will calculate the time and then it goes put the time out as the one second completes it calls again it runs this function again and this function is right here it runs this function and this function is right here it comes again then after one second it runs this code again and in this code we are going to repeat this process and in this process we have called the set timeout so what is happening you are running the show time function and show time function is running the set timeout after every second and after every second in set timeout we are going to use the same function so let's see on the browser how we can see this result so just refresh the page and now look you can see that the time is ticking away it is changing and it is changing by the second so this is the way this is the simplest way how you can create your digital clock you can make more changes for it like you can make it more beautiful just go to CSS here and uh, change the color background to black and uh, your font to white so just refresh the page and you can see how beautiful it is looking again just press F11 it is in the full screen view for you so this is the digital clock how we created here for you so thanks a lot guys for today if you have any query if you do not understand something out of it you can write back to me you can contact me you can see my contact number you can see my email address here as well so do write back to me please subscribe the channel and must practice this and in the next lecture we will going to make a countdown like we can make a countdown timer so thanks a lot have a good day